Come on, tell us a story. A funny story. Oh, don't know no stories. Oh, come on, Norm. Tell us a weepy one. Oh, why didn't you ask her? She's top of our class at school. She knows all the stories. Oh, no, you tell it, Norm. You tell them lovely. Any old thing. Red Riding Hood, Babes in the Wood, Gone with the Wind, Cinderella. Oh, all right, then. Cinder Bliminrella. You asked for it, mind you. Well, once upon a time, hell of a long time ago it was, so long ago, you could pop in a shop and ask for Napa for Dolly mixtures and give you a bag as big as a bandage balloon. No coupons, neither. There were three sisters. They lived right next door to the pawn shop. That's where you live, Norm. One was called Dirty Gertie, one was called Cozy Rosie, and the third was... Cinderella! Who's telling this here story, you or me? Well, Dirty Gertie and Cozy Rosie were a couple of artists down the butter. Little Cinderella, she used to do a bit of charring on the side. Most of the time, she was at home. Well, one day, a fella called the Prince. Of course, cool, he wasn't a prince, really. That was, uh, uh Alias. Trust him. Oh, I up he was, though. I'm just thinking about as a boozer and, and the pawn shop next door. Well, he was throwing a bit of a party for his clique. Dirty Gertie and Cozy Rosie were going, but... But he didn't know Cinderella. He didn't know her. Poor Cinderella. She had to help doll up her sister for the do. Both had a perm and, and a bath each. And off they went, haughty and perfumed in their bits of rabbit. Cinderella was left alone in the house, alone with her memories. There were cockroaches too. <laughs> well, she had a bit of cow in what was boiling. Then she put the wireless on and it was playing. Ah, sweet mystery of life with Grace Moore. Then she had a bit of a cry to do her good. And she looked up. And there in the middle of the kitchen was her fairy godmother in tights. Kind of, kind of long white combs, all sparkling. And she says, who are you? And the fairy godmother says, I'm your fairy godmother. And Cinderella says, well, I'll be. And the fairy godmother does her stuff. So off goes Cinderella in a pumpkin coach, which driven by these here Mickey mice. And a fairy godmother standing at the door, waving a wand and calling out, goodbye, Cinder, thanks, enjoy yourself. So the pumpkin coach gets to the pub where they're having this free for all. And out gets Cinderella, very chick. And up the steps, there the party is. All in Technicolor, with a band from Hollywood and a couple of guest stars. And Dirty Gertie and Cozy Rosie shaking their plates and... And the prince himself and a stiff dick in an eyeglass. Just like a film. And when he sees Cinder, he whistles with his fingers in his mouth. <whistles> she goes over to him and he says, what's yours? She says, I have the best in the ass, she says. He bars very low and says, you are the best in the ass. And that's that. Well, he gives her a gold tip cigarette and a port. And there they are, hotting her around the floor like they've known each other for always and always. And blimey, when her sister see her. Then the MC gets up and he says, it's a special competition tonight for the games. Very special. We've had a competition for the biggest dips. Now here's one for the smallest feet. You could hear a quart bottle drop. And he holds a glass slipper up and he says, who can get their trotter in it? Well, Dirty Gertie and Cozy Rosie have a shot, but they've got feet like coppers. And Cinderella, she has a go. It fits her like a sausage skin. What's your name, says the prince, smiling charming at her, showing all his gold teeth. She could marry him for the asking. And suddenly she remembers what her fairy godmother had said to her. Keep your peepers on the clock, Cinder's duck, she said. And Cinder's looks at the clock. And lo and behold, the clock struck the witching hour.